What do you think, Marilyn? Got my girlfriend's car in the shop today. It's a 2017 Audi A4. Needs a radiator. It's leaking here down in the side end tank. Here we got the supervisor today, Miss Marilyn. Just making sure we're doing a good job. So I don't know much about these cars, but I do know that the front bumper needs to be removed. It's possible that the headlights need to come off because the radiator comes out through the front and not up like most cars. So that's going to be the plan of attack is getting this front bumper off first. The lower panel is removed and draining the coolant comes out of this lower hose here. So we didn't have very good service information to work with with my program. So we were figuring a lot out as we went. So there's a lot of uh, details in the video missing, but the gist of it is all there. Okay, got the front bumper off. It's tricky to get this off. You gotta undo these fender liners and then there's a bolt way down there that you need to undo. Hang on, focus right there. And there's this weird rivet clip that attaches down here. Right there, it's a pain in the butt. And then like any other bumper, it just unsnaps and it feels like you're breaking it. Making progress. Almost got this entire front end apart. The headlights have to come out before you can remove like a lot of these plastic pieces here in the front. And then the front bumper support comes out. I think we have to remove the uh, intercooler next and the condenser. I'm not sure if the condenser needs to just be moved out of the way or if we have to drain the uh, refrigerant. We'll find out. So after futzing around with the radiator, uh, after removing it, I finally realized that these bottom feet were screwed in uh, to the bottom of these brackets. Okay, so for whatever reason, I can't get this bottom of the radiator out of these rubber feet. So I unbolted this lower piece here. I'm gonna see if that works. If I can just slide the whole thing out in one piece. Oh, you're leaking. This is the upper radiator hose. It's got these quick disconnect fittings that plug straight onto the radiator, which is kind of nice. Actually, made removing them pretty easy. That's the AC condenser. It was nice of Audi to make the lines like this so you can move it out of the way. But this is kind of cool. You can access the entire front of the engine when you have the radiator out. So now we're just in reassembly. It's the reverse of everything we just did. Hopefully we remember everything. So this is the driver's side end tank. It started to leak here. And it's causing low coolant lights. And with the magic of video editing, I'll return when everything is reassembled. Liz is actually really good with tools and really handy. And it was nice to have her and Marilyn here to help me with this job. If I ever get this thing back together, 
There's a lot of bolts holding all this plastic stuff together. Wheels are back on. Fender liner back on. Now we just gotta figure out how to bleed this thing. As luck would have it, Audi requires you to put this thing in the vacuum in order to bleed the coolant. So I got my Astro Tools bleeder kit out. I'm gonna put this thing in vacuum and fill it up. If you've never seen a bleeding tool like this, it basically pulls the entire cooling system into vacuum and then you hook up one of the hoses to coolant and then it pulls coolant and replaces all that vacuum with coolant and it minimizes the amount of air bubbles. Actually, you almost get no air bubbles. Audi's running, just got done bleeding it with our vacuum bleeder, so we're just going to run it for a bit and test the heater, and if everything's good, it's ready to go. What do you think, Mayor? Good job? <laughs> 